Okay, chat, mono black discard. They added Undercity Plunder in the latest card drop, and it seems super powerful. So it's potentially a they discard two for two mana. It can also be a they discard one, you draw a spell out of their deck. Um, and then we're pairing this with other things like Inscription of Rune, which can be a Mind Rot that also has other utility. We've got City Stalker Connoisseur. We've got a couple of Gutmorn in here as a cheeky way to leverage our discard even more. This card on three into City Stalker Connoisseur on four seems potentially very good as well. We got some Invoke Despair as card advantage at the top end. And then we've got the kind of small creature package along with Deadly Dispute at the bottom end of our curve to hopefully help keep us alive along with Meat Hook Massacre. So let's go ahead and pop on into some games with this and uh, see how it feels. Why not put four channel lands in? Because they're legendary. Uh, we had a, a Moth Rider deck crash and burn first thing. It's our second deck of the day. Patch went. Patch went live about two hours ago. So we'll get this deck in and at least one more, depending on how good the decks are. If we have another thing flame out, we'll probably get three more decks in. But if this is reasonable and the thing after it's reasonable, I'll probably do two more today. For my regulars, we'll be starting with Magic Bright and Early first thing tomorrow morning, doing Alchemy all day again for the Magic segment. And then Saturday is the next Hoaglandia Open. If you like a chance to compete in the set championship for new Capenna, or you just want to play something sweet for fun, there's still room to sign up for that on, uh, on MTG Melee. I think we had like 20 people signed up last I checked. We're up to 22. Usually we have somewhere between 60 and 100 people play. But a majority of people signed up the last 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 few hours before the thing. Am I growing my beard out? Nope. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, BJ Roth. The only reason I put in the two gut morns to begin with was because I incidentally opened them out of booster packs. I am not spending mythic wild cards on gut morns. For an, for an $18 donation, I will put a third gut mort in the deck because that's how much it cost me to get a Mythic Wild card. Saying that number out loud hurt me. Yep. Thank goodness we have the economy change coming up soon. Yep, something like that. Treat yourself. <laughs> Thanks for the biddies, Anthias. All right, third gut morn. We're loading it, loading it up. I 
feel like we literally just took a $20 bill and set it on fire. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, I'm just chilling for now. Is Phyrexian Obliterator banned into Unholy Heat and Blue White? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, the Phoenix deck doesn't just play Unholy Heat. It also plays stuff like, uh... What's the word I'm searching for? It also plays stuff like, um... Brazen Borrower and Faded, Faded Hope sometimes. So, like, playing your 4-drop and getting it bounced feels real bad. They have a deadly dispute here. Could let them save their farmer. They do not. And, and what's it called? Uh, it just doesn't. The what's it called? Just doesn't care about. Blue Eye Control just doesn't care about your four mana five five. So 23 months, Mog Wrangler. Welcome back. Hey now, don't sell my Meat Hook Massacre short. It wasn't th four mana Plagued Wind. It was four mana Plague Wind plus gain a bunch of life and deal a bunch of damage over the course of the game. I did undersell it. We've come a long way since Prophecy. We certainly have. Untapped gave me a message pop up saying it needed to uh, restart itself. Maybe it failed to do that. Let me try and launch it manually. One of the things I desperately wish Wizards of the Coast would do is prioritize working with their third party developers like Untapped. Let them let them know when there's gonna be issues in advance. Give them give them samples of logs before things go live so that we untap can be ready to go right away. So we each discard a card and then we each get copies of the opponent's card that we're discarding and then I'm going to inscription of rune them taking away their last two cards and giving them to me. It's actually kind of guess. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Chad, thanks for sticking on with the gift sub. I appreciate the support. Wait, if I discard a card here, do they get a copy of it? 
Oh no, what a disaster, chat. Unlucky. Had to discard the hand size so they get the copy we discarded. <laughs> oh, the double, the double-edged gutborn. Now I have to spend $60 on gut boards. <laughs> you say 1800 bits i missed when it was four so i grabbed them but then i remembered i was timed out but you have them also another one please god bless us everyone thanks for the mini same all right shit does that mean we're going up to the full four gut borns certainly feels like it Yeah, my untapped crash and it is refusing to relaunch. Let me try again here. Oh, maybe it's coming back this time. My untapped appears to be hung on the loading screen currently.
Untapped is ta it's tapped out. It's all it's all tapped out. I think we've got him hook, line, and sinker, chat. <laughs> Wait, I have this in my notes from yesterday. Four for ones are good. <laughs> Big true. See, chat? Note-taking isn't just for nerds, it's useful. I get some Pokemon Unite themed emotes on my in my emote slots. I should commission some. That's a, that's a great one, Gip. Lose a life. Age slash mod sword. You actually can't customize the moderator icon. Otherwise, I would have customized it to go with our sword and shield. These avocado posts taste so good. Uh, why do they have so many tap lands? Because we are down paired into someone in silver who's likely playing a budget deck. I mean, at least we're not mythic yet. We've definitely had the mythic to silver down pair in the past. It's a real feels bad, man. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have played that other swamp out. I should have cycled that with the blood. Oh, we're, we're crafting the extra Gootmorns, Chet. We're going up to four Gootmorns here. 
because the card's cracked, obviously. We did it for the content ship. Mobile flinging tomatoes, my monthly complaint about how Apple won't let me prime sub. They're very rude. Rude, rude folks. Is it legendary? Yeah, but if you keep it in play, it's cracked, so it's fine. Gonna play a one drop on one and run us down. All right, hopefully something. This hand's very good against anything mid range you're controlling. So it's kind of aggressive. I get to adventure a whole bunch with that before I get to do anything here. Yeah, they're they're definitely uh, aggressively slanted mid range. the two-thirds of your hawk. Welcome back. Treasure token means they can't give a 1-1 one -one counter next turn, so that means my graveyard trespasser will be able to trade with the dart. I don't understand your question, Sessie. They're finishing their first dungeon easy peasy here. So when they attack, the dungeon will complete and then Trespasser will die because drop will go up to 5-5. Five five. Maybe. I don't see why they would. Probably.
not dead yet. Oh, we're dead to the we're dead to the hive actually. Hey, thanks, JMP. 59 months is no small amount of time. Thanks for sticking around. Okay, so we need more cards to play to the board here, obviously. Um, I think I'm actually going to trim this small creature package here for just a bunch of removal spells. I think is my, my plan. We'll see if I'm still a certified WotC shill after we see the results of my response to their econ stream today. Uh, power word kill tends to be more flexible than flunk. Welcome to the plunder, baby. I just want to draw lands the next two turns here. Just like we drew it up, chap. Just like we drew it up. Am I eating more beer nuts? I actually ran out of beer nuts. It's incredibly sad. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten to get back to the store yet. I'm gonna buy a bigger container of them. I hadn't had them in a while and I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy them, but Quality, quality enjoyment was had. Wait a minute. They just gave me a city stalker connoisseur? Excuse me? Old three mana four for one chat. Old three mana four for one. Okay, so we want a blood token on their turn so they don't get a copy of whatever we're blood tokening. The city stalkers shall continue until morale improves. Yeah, basically.
gets rid of their enchantment too. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the hand enchantment in play. Andre, thank you for the 15 months. I really appreciate the prime. Welcome back. Jeff, stop. You're giving them cards, right? It's a mobile ready gameplay. Never didn't have it. I was like, I need to save this to kill their three drops, but you're right, this is totally a Dragonite. I always forget about Magic's Pokemon crossover. Rip. Pick. Good afternoon. T minus four hours until Econ stream chip. Dara's hyper beamer outrage. A big outrage energy for sure. No, this this update appears to have killed untapped chip.
We've improved the arena economy by returning magic to the game Richard Garfield always intended it to be, and Anti will be returned in the next set. That would be... That's the economy update stream I'm hoping for, Chad. That's the economy update we all deserve. It makes ladder matches mean worse. It solves two problems at once, chat. People are saying the ladder wasn't competitive enough. Now you can steal cards from your opponents. Everybody's going to try so much harder. <laughs> a land oh I should have played hive right because hive's gonna be tapped now I mean, we get the last card out of their hand here. And then this makes a blood token that will let us um, cycle one of these lands for something else. It's not all bad. If I wait on this, I can deadly dispute it. Play the line. The problem here is they've gotten us slow enough that Blood Artist is likely just lethal. Deal with this artist. Uh, okay, I think I gotta make this trade here. Yeah, and then Trespasser gets to come down and gain us a little bit of life. We're kind of, we're kind of in route to stabilization here, huh?
That is, is another great drop. The hits keep coming and they don't stop coming. Oh, the Mamming of Sacrament plays a little awkward. Oh, I thought this was a treasure. That's awkward. I should have held on to that, I think. Ah, oh, what a tilter. Don't get to gain some life here. Sure. Deal. We be grinding shit. Let's click the wrong thing there. Their deck is capable of making food, but just in case they want to go draft something later, that could. Let's just get rid of the cat. Let's take this block. No, this is an artifact, right? Not an enchantment. On the offensive here now. Is this game out real quick, like? I believe not. I'm gonna leave creatures in their bin for graveyard glutton. Actually, just dead. Actually just dead. That was sick. All right, uh, Professor Onyx comes in for the grindy matchup. Honestly, our main deck's pretty well set up here. This is like an Onyx in and a Shambling Guest out. Yeah, we, sta we stabilized really hard and fast there. It felt good. Is this a Go Blank matchup? They are a Raid of Oblivion deck. I wonder if Go Blank's actually just better than Inscription. Because the other modes in Inscription aren't great here. Let the plunder begin, shit. Let the plunder hit the board. Yep. 
Woohoo! Papi! Best two mana discard spells since him to Tor. Uh, yeah, probably. That is it. An accurate. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. If you're gonna twist my arm. R and Jesus take the wheel, please. Their most expensive one. Yeah, yeah, they get to they get to know that we got these from them. Huh. Would I rather lose Invoke Despair or Lulf? I, th I think I'd rather lose Invoke. Darkness will swap. My power is for annihilation. Annihilation. Take care of you. It's not the land I wanted shit. Ooh, that is also not the land I wanted. Yeah, I think we're okay here, right? Like We can just like meat hook clean the board out is the plan. I get the attack with everything. I get to block and trade off, and then like they're at nothing, and I have a bunch of cards in hand that a wolf in play. And I, the generous one. All right, that's what I like to call a concession meat hook in the biz. Do what I demand. Opponent's a trooper oh, champ. I, the generous one. It's garbage time. You don't have to go home, but you can't play here. Do -do 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 -do. We're gonna close relatively quickly here. We're dead next turn, right? 9, 13, 16. Stand by as innocent people are slaughtered. As innocent people are slaughtered. Good. Uh, we actually have them exactly dead with this, right? This is a six, nine, 12 lethal. Hey, 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 Alistair, thanks for the 28 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Yeah, 
That was kind of impressive that we ground out like the the black white mid range control deck like that's usually one of the more grindy things in the format. We just kind of like cleared through it with all of our all of our two for one discard. We gonna meat hook Duro and stuff too for more. Yeah, that's true. Definitely, definitely true. So a bunch of the discard spells we're playing in this deck are discard spells that do things even when the opponent's hand is empty, right? Because like a mind rot that hits two cards is like always been pretty reasonable. The problem is just like you have a lot of times where like you draw that mind rot and there's nothing for it to do, right? In the mid to late game. Punished by the Archon for not, not playing this on two. Yeah, big sand trump energy for sure. Something to keep in mind for the postboard games. Uh, not not explicitly, Tailrend. It's probably shorter to list the ones that I wouldn't allow to sponsor my stream, which is essentially like cryptocurrency places and Comcast. And I will protect my people. Let your blade do the talking. I was a little sad we couldn't hit a land drop off of Gutenmorn, and then they let us hit a land drop. <laughs> There's a dollar amount for everything. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd take one of the people I'm saying I wouldn't let sponsor me for like low six figures. We've got the edge in this. Everybody, place. everybody's got a price shit. Some of ours are just more or less expensive than others. We're offering eight figures, but it's in crypto. <laughs> no, I need money I can actually spend. Show them how we greet our enemies. Gets rid of planeswalkers too, right?
Seven cards, a lot of looks. Diva, 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 dance all, folks. Did you put it? Yes, when I conjure a card, it goes to my graveyard. That is correct, RGMs. Ain't some kind of ain't some kind of boomer game where you can't mix up mix up cards. They can go wherever we want them to go. It's a spot removal. Definitely want Ray. I don't know if I want all the power word kills. Yes. Deadly Dispute's been kind of mixed. It's also not great in the face of their Archons. Yeah, go blank hit Storm, but I like have Graveyard Trespasser to do that too. And like them getting up to 10 mana is a lot of mana. And the the upside of it, like if Inscription didn't have other text here, if it was just a discard too, I'd probably board and go blank. But like Inscription being a removal spell is something that could be relevant in this matchup. What card should we build around after this, chat? Maybe we should work on mono green with the new ninja. The new the new green ninja is pretty good. My preview card? Um I don't know what I want to do with that. I don't know if there's a good tempo-y shell for that in alchemy. Even the archive. I hate when my opponent puts bad cards in their deck, so we have to draw them. Hey, thanks for the 37 months, my sticks. Welcome back. So let's just do you get initial land, you gain a life. And it untaps your lands. I suppose we could work on, maybe we build like blue black discard and maybe not even all in on discard, but like under city plunder could be an okay card to pick back up, right? It definitely wants to be in a shell that's more proactive. A tip land would be ideal here. How about a brick? Best we can do is a brick. Yeah, I know you desperately just want to play a bunch of cards that take things off of our opponent's deck, but that strategy is not good. You have to you have to play cards that actually play to the board. I'm not even going for good chat. I'm going for playable. Like, we're not just going to get run over in every game where my opponent casts lands and spells.
the arena economy stream might only be alchemy related. That that wouldn't surprise me. People people weren't complaining very loudly about the economy before alchemy. And because people turned alchemy into a scapegoat for the economy as a whole, wizards probably took that to mean, okay, we only need to address it with regards to alchemy. So ba basically their short-sightedness of blaming alchemy for problems that already existed on arena sound like it's gonna come back to bite people. No, I mean, and it's, it's, it's not gaslighting at all. People have very directly been complaining about alchemy like it's the reason that the economy is bad. And that just like couldn't be further from the truth. But that has, that's how people have been treating it. Like it's alchemy's fault. People, people aren't boycotting standard and other formats. They're boycotting alchemy. In wizards, in wizards' mind, that probably means everything is fine except for alchemy. Five, six, seven. That's if that's the case, you reap what you sow. I'm going to just use this this turn because it's currently cheaper because I have a legendary creature rate. Yeah, so we'll pass here and then we'll get back our City Stalker Connoisseur. Really, Gully? What's the, what's the exact title? Because now, now I'm morbidly curious. Every CCG economy is bad. That's just not true. Legends of Runeterra's economy is fantastic and super player friendly. MTG Arena Alchemy just wants to take your money and that sucks. <laughs> oh. Man, what a copium filled. Just like. Is it the arena economy that's bad? No, it's alchemy that's wrong. I mean, to be fair, I would I would bet that Legends of Runeterra is a lost leader for Riot Games win Magus. I'd be kind of surprised if it's profitable already. Magic card. creature cards are in their graveyard three four five
Let's count this again. One, two, three, four. I'm assuming, Dimstar, that the economy changes they're going to bring to alchemy are going to simply involve incidentally giving you free copies of alchemy cards. Would be, I think, I think that's a change that's probably reasonable to expect. If they're if they are smart, and to be fair, a lot of the decisions Wizards of the Coast makes regarding Arena are very good business smart decisions. If they want to make a business smart decision, they will make it so that if you play standard, you will incidentally be able to play Alchemy for no extra money. That's, that's what they would do if they are smart, in my opinion. You want it you want it to be players get in the door for alchemy just by simply already being invested in the arena economy instead of an additional cost pass standard. Giving, giving, giving people a free alchemy card every time they open a standard pack would be smart. Something, something, something like that would be a, a very positive change for them. I should have brought my Professor Onyx in there the first time. Let's trim one of these eye twitches. Yeah, they could also sell the cards as a complete drop, similar to historic anthologies. It would be kind of surprise me if they go in that direction, but I also think that direction would be fine. I think I think something like just giving people alchemy cards incidentally when they buy standard packs would probably be the best solution. Uh, they have not officially announced that the stream today will bring changes. That is accurate. They te technically, technically what the stream is happening today could just be justifications of their existing economy. Uh, we had the blue Snapcaster Mage was our spoiler. No. I feel like I'm just supposed to inscription of rune here. I know obviously we would like to do this after Gutmorn, but... I really just want to take two cards out of their hand here while they're down to three cards. Yes, ex exactly that. Whenever you're hoping something happens, ask yourself, is there a business incentive for a thing to happen? And the answer is what Wid Mega said. They have a real business incentive to have some type of change happen on this stream.
I think I'm just passing here. And this this card's actually really awkward here, right? Because like I have to discard a spell and it gives them a spell while they're empty-handed. Yeah, it's so weird you can't use multiple pre-release code packs on your Magic Arena. I agree, that's a strange limit. So we're taking four, five, six, seven here. And then we're gonna get to meet Hook the Archon and this off the board. Has it felt good? Uh, it's felt cute. It was cute earlier. Hesitant to say good, but cute, definitely. Mastermind, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I think I need to put this into play as a. Oh wait, I can just Undercity Plunder back whenever I give them, right? Yeah, all right, so we can do this. Plunder them. Hey Cassius, thanks for the 29 months, welcome back. Appreciate it. Well, I probably should have put Awakening into play tapped this turn. <laughs> it seems loose to have a stream, pay those people, and then relocate the speaker into a protection program for no changes. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, rewarded for not blocking last turn. It's garbage time. You don't have to go home, but you can't play here. Do, 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 do. No planes or forests in our deck chat. Unlucky. Pretty one to pretty good one to peel off the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they want to eat this, I get to eat their Archon. I just want to inscription their Archon, right? I think I'm going to hold on to this to discard to the Blood Token. Maybe I 
should have attacked with City Stalker too. Like I said, I attack with City Stalker and leave myself open to the layer of the Hydra. Maybe I'm supposed to attack with the Yasharn. Check this off. Ah, uh, this is only opponents, right? Oh, this is players. Good call. Stupid symmetrical hate cards, champ. Hey, Curly Q. Thanks for the follow. Skyclave's pretty good. Yeah, I guess it's only okay, right? Because I get to, uh, I get to uh, get this with the thirst, and then we get a 4-4 back. They're very all over the place with their abilities being symmetrical or not. Yeah, mood. Ooh. Ooh. A piece of candy. Oh, if I, if I, I was going to say I'm going to bring back Gutmorn, but if I bring back Gutmorn, it's actually not good, right? Because then I have to give them a card. Yeah, it's actually not great. Well, I can't bring back, sorry, rephrase. I can't bring back Archon, Gutmorn, and kill this. And I wanna, I wanna kill this with this spell. I can't, I can't kick and do this. I'm gonna flans. I do wanna play this out for Death Touch because they have Layer of the Hydra here, which is annoying. Attack. They can activate Layer of the Hydra for five here, but then we get to kill it with Blood Chief's Thirst afterwards. And Yasharn getting killed in this exchange means it opens us our blood tokens up to being used. We can sacrifice them then. I mean, this exchange is good for us. Yeah. So this this play was heads up on the board. I attacked knowing that it could happen because we have the Blood Chief's Thirst. Thirsty boy, take a drink of water. Big long sip. It's not bad. Attack to start here, see what they do. Depending on what their AO finds here, we could get them hook, line, and sinker. Our deck, our deck's been impressively grindy. It's felt very reasonable. Yes, yeah, under under city plunder is very good. Definite format staple. That's kind of an upgrade if you squint. Yeah, in a round a roundabout way. Not not bad at all.
Ganon. Thanks everybody for Gautzy, by the way. Got a few new follows during the magic segment. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeff Oakland. I stream full time here on Twitch. We do Magic Arena for at least a few hours every single day, but I do a bunch of other games as well. We play some Pokemon Unite. We usually have a single player story game going at any given point. We just finished up Horizon Forbidden West. I think we're gonna start Assassin's Creed Valhalla as the next one of those. We're playing all alchemy today and tomorrow with the new card drop release for that. But in general, usually tend to cycle through a lot of arenas constructed formats, play a little bit of brawl, play some standard, dip into actual historic on occasion. So always a lot of good stuff going on. Usually I try and play at least two different decks every single day of the week. Uh, I bounced off of Outer Worlds. The story rating and characters were good, but the actual gameplay left a bit to be desired. have a bunch of a bunch of back goods uh bionic beef from different stuff my kids have bought bought for the kids over the years and stuff i don't really want to um load up on the existing client because when i give feedback on the economy and the new client i think expecting people to have put back codes into the old one beforehand is silly so I'm, I'm kind of explicitly waiting, wanting to see what the experience is like for people, if that makes sense. They discarded partners. They must have another one, right? They don't. Okay. What's wrong with Gutmorn? Are you why you have to be so mean to my Gutmorn? I'm shocked they discarded this card, not having another one. They gave us Graveyard Trespasser back, deal. Is he trades here? Are people allowed to post content with the new client already beef? Usually when things are in closed beta, there's a there's an NDA. Meat hook massacre. Treatsies, treatsies. That's kind of 
kind of that's kind of crummy that they have they're letting people do content with it already. It's always that's always fine to talk about. Just talk about other content stuff. I think, I think doing closed beta stuff is fine, fine and good if you need to restrict your regions or whatever. But I think letting letting certain content creators in before others is kind of a medium choice. Real big, real big feels bad if you're restricting by region. I'm supposed to eat my treasure here. Uh, I mean, it's just so a VPN would let me get into the Canadian beta, Cody, but it would be very obvious to the company that I'm not in Canada because they know where I live. The Pokemon company mails me stuff. So doing, doing something like that, that would be a slight against the company that I would like to work with would probably not be a good idea. I mean, for what it's worth, it's pretty common to like have your stuff be restricted to certain certain regions. Like that's not that's not really uncommon. Cuz they want they want to like load test things, they want to do a beta with a smaller initial audience to start. That's not really uncommon. That's not true, Cedrius. People use, companies use Canada quite frequently for their beta tests. Because they're North America and they're a smaller audience in the United States. But Zipples, thank you for the 21 months. Welcome back. Yeah, it's like, a, you're like America light, chat. Up in Canada. All right, so I get to do this and clean out the board. And then I get to attack with the Graveyard Trespasser and gain a life that way. And then I have to keep this land in play. So I'm gonna take a damage from that because I need... Um... And look, chat, the buttons. Take two damage or sacrifice. I would like to take two damage. So now we need them to draw two bricks in a row so Invoke Despair can kill the Town Razor Tyrant. I prefer to think of you all as Canada heavy. <laughs> all right, untapped, untapped black source, please, so I can have a chump blocker. Uh, we will actually have them dead next turn if they brick though, right? Because we have uh, Reckless Storm Seeker. So this, if this isn't a blocker, we're good. Or they have to just not do anything. Okay, close game. Blood Chief's Thirst is good. Power Word Kill is good. Description of runes a little awkward. Yeah, it, this deck's been legitimately good. It's felt, it's felt very reasonable. Maybe I want a couple of Description of runes. Yeah, our deck, our deck has, felt, has felt competitive. We've got ground out a lot of top decks.
stop blocking and might as well attack. get a gut born and you get a gut born everybody gets a gut born the yeah, rebu rebuke's not bad definitely uh trading my gut born for their pack leader here Jokes on you, I didn't want Thunder Rebuke anyways. Stormseeker is just like the best possible card they could have there. <sighs> I think we're dead, champ. I think I dropped Meat Hook Massacre, but. Carrity dead. I think the creature land means we're too far gone. Even if we draw the meat hook for next turn, the creature land's gonna clean us out. Oh, we're actually just dead to the land, right? Take game three on the play. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I'm ready for big convention stuff again yet this year, Beef. I also, I also don't know if, uh... What's the word I'm searching for? I also don't know, we don't know when the, when their TCG Live thing's gonna be out for everyone yet, too. I don't know, maybe if it's out by April. I can be familiar with it enough by then. Mean. Oh, it means they're gonna meet hook for one. I should have double blocked. It means they're gonna meet hook for one. I'm dead.
Yeah, if we spike, uh, if we spike an untapped land next turn, Invoke Despair is very good. Although I guess the Meat Hook makes it a little bit worse. Okie doke. Yikes. If we hit an untapped land, we can egg domes, uh, we can egg domes for four. So really want to hit an untapped land here. Age alert. Thanks for the 23 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. I think we just sacrificed this, right? Because I drew some lands. Really, really glad they improved the buttons on there. That's so much nicer for an, from an interface perspective. They can smack me for four down to six, and then Eggdom's Awakening is going to seal the game up, most likely. just came from an aspiring spike stream where there was also a bunch of Invoke Despair. You are saying he was playing with the card Invoke Despair or he was playing Magic the Gathering online so naturally there was a lot of despair to be had. It's the eye twitch here. Oh, and eye twitch was their most expensive card. That's good for us. I wasn't expecting this deck to feel as competitive as it has. It's been super reasonable. You played into a bunch of different stuff and it's been fine. Get to pivot relatively quickly here with Invoke Despair and uh, some stuff. Yeah, yeah, the 
The under under city whatever is super strong. Uh, card's called. Yes, this card is also just a fantastic mid range card. I know I want the stalker to block their layer of the hydra. See, chat, we should have, we should have kept the Rangers class, chat. We, we found green bit. Um, easy game. Do one or two more with this, and then we'll uh, we'll swap over to working on something else. I think. I think I want to play with the uh, the new green ninja next. Definitely feels like we have a good mix of green and interaction in this, though. Yeah, pup ninjutsu pup seems good. The new grazer also seems fine. Well, so the new Snapcaster Mage S card is explicitly not good in Incident Sorcery Heavy decks, can X? So it's not like, maybe, maybe it could be okay in a control deck, but it's explicitly not gonna be ideal there. I'm also not brewing in Historic of my own volition until they balance change the format. If someone wants to pay me to work on something, I'll, I'll sign up and I'll lose to Phoenix and Blue-White Control for an hour for your money, but I am not, not going in on my, on my own. Sure, if you're playing it alongside Fortel, it seems fine. It's definitely, definitely seems reasonable. Bring in a bunch of spot removal for Rahilda. It'd be cool with Ephemery. Yeah, and your opponent's gonna flip a bunch of Phoenixes into play and murder you. A lot of, a lot of things sound sweet and historic and then you start actually playing the games. It's just like, they just don't feel competitive and fun. I mean, as far as like looking at formats as a deck building exercise, Historic is neat from like the perspective of writing decks down on paper and looking for neat combinations of cards. Like formats with deep card pools are like that. It's one of the one of the better things about Magic is under cheating formats. It's just we have to you always have to like look at what are the play patterns of the top decks that you're actually gonna be playing into in those formats to really know the whole tale. I go ahead and just wipe their hand out here.
You are definitely allowed to play your bruise against Sparky. Stands. All right, untap land, please. Do this now, I think. Come on, will power word kill this while they're tapped out? Maybe I let them actually untap again here, because if they go, if they play Adeline, I'm really sad that I, I didn't save this. Obviously, second stance makes me sad here, but. That's fine. Ten. Seven, up to eight. Swamp? And that one while they're tapped out. Gutmorn definitely looks super awkward every time we get in spots like this where they're mostly empty handed. just terrible for us. <laughs> I guess this 2-3 is pretty good on this board, but... Oh, yeah, that is definitely not something we wanted to see. Draws in our deck. This card's so good, shit. All right. Well, we know their last card's a land. We have decent blocks here still. Thanks for the prime support. I appreciate it. I think I have to do this. I think I have to do this.
So you're so you're saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 do. Well, our deck is officially 50% lands, not counting our spell lands. How many cards without a land there? A lot. Okay, so these two These two mean that I get to get to this now. All right, are we finally in garbage time? Like I felt like we had this, I felt, I was feeling like we had this board stabilized for a while, but we just like, their gas just kept coming enough that we just couldn't, couldn't take a breath. This is probably a Ray of Enfeeblement matchup looking at it. Getting their first strikers inside of combat with that seems pretty good too. Yeah, kicking, kicking and screaming across the finish line there. Really, this deck's been really reasonable for those S gang. I've been playing it for the last two hours. I'm probably supposed to go to five here. They're just gonna curve out and kill us if we don't draw any early early interaction. Need something that plays to the board next turn for two, one, two, or three mana. Yeah, probably doesn't even matter, honestly. Something on the first one of the first two turns of the game. There's one of the reasons why this red white deck is so good. All again more aggressively there.
I guess we can play Gutmorn here. And then this threatens a block here because they made a treasure so they can't make a 1-1 one -one counter. Oh, this just finishes the dungeon so Nadar pops off. How we ever beat this card, huh? This, this is pretty typical. My deck's the discard deck problem, right? Like I've got cards that like discard and stuff in hand, but my opponent's already on the board. Oh yeah, that's true. Their first strike death touch. This one just been trading with Nadar. The angel's actually really good into our removal. Because power word kill does not deal with it. This card still comes in here because we need to deal with their cheaper threats. But the angel is pretty uniquely good against what we have going on. If they choose not to attack with it into like our death toucher. Yes, the steals with it. Highest power. Welcome back, Moon Boots. Thanks for the 15. Some of these new alchemy cards are real sweet. Undercity Blender's been great. So what one we're gonna play more with. This card's probably pretty decent and historic too. A discard to you or grab something from their hand. John, I think I, yeah, I could firmly stamp exceeded expectations on its report card. We want to kill Nadar here, I think is what I want to do. It's kind of surprising, is it? I mean, like, aside from the 1 3 demon, almost all the cards in our deck are playable magic cards, right? This is, this is easily going to be a format staple. Just take a bunch of, bunch of playable magic cards and mix them up well. You usually get something playable at the end. You didn't think Undercity would be good? It does. I mean, a two a two for one for two mana is really good. I get that it's a two for one that doesn't play to the board, but you're only paying two for it. One more venture off of entering the dungeon. Yep.
afternoon to you, Moe's. So, the somewhat good news here is they don't get both the Spellbinder and the Angel. The bad news is the Angel is pretty bad for us. He said before peeling the nuts. Yeah, we put two Blood Chiefs Thirst in our deck for a reason. A truly skill-based game my opponent and I play. So they're dead. So we attack with these. They're forced to block. Graveyard Trespasser is lethal. Let's just invoke a little despair. So long, farewell, I'll see you and good day. The world is cruel, chat. Don't despair, Mono Black is here. Cheaper, cruel ultimatum. It has it has definitely big ultimatum vibes. This card is very good, Tumos. Yeah, I'm supposed to keep the uh, inscription in case they have uh, Nadar. Medium bottom of land or conservative in bottom of the despair. Yeah, power word kill and they're gonna play a three mana dragon and I'm gonna be big sad. Alchemy, the format where mid range is playable. Yes, the last set championship had a ton of creature and mid range based decks in it. No, no balance changes today. I guess this card's kind of mediocre against the venture deck specifically because, um, what's what I'm searching for? A lot of their cards are synergy based. Well, I mean, if you're gonna twist my arm. <laughs> Run away. You'll be safe. Remember your training. other people that played the the Grixis deck to okay results at the event past just gym. Did, did the other people flub? We must protect the people. Goodbye friends.
this fight. It's definitely the line. So they have a land and they're debating on if they should play it out. Or a removal spell maybe, I guess. Okay, this makes sense. I think that next turn we can go like trespasser drop on the on the goblin Delver for our one venture so we can get a scry on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Wizards of the Coast tells MTG Melee they can't post the meta results, is my understanding, John. Because Wizards. Melee's never said that outright, but Wizards official events are the only ones that don't have data available on Melee. So I, I, I can only assume that's the reason. That's so weird. I mean, it's pretty peak Wizards of the Coast. Slug. Yeah, I like I liked what this deck was doing a lot, shit. We uh the the goal going into building this deck was we wanted a deck that was discard focused, but our discard cards explicitly are able to do things even when our opponent's empty-handed. And Connoisseur, Inscription, and Plunder all do that quite well. And it felt very reasonable. Uh, believe it or not, Packbound Servant here, probably not very good. Definitely would not play four of them. Maybe a couple is fine if you already open them. But if you don't have them opened, incidentally, I wouldn't spend Mythic Rare Wild cards on them. Undercity Plunder is phenomenal. This effect is really, really strong. Like it. I like it a lot. Sweet. All right. 